guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm picking up the vlog today and i'm actually in a bit of a rush this morning so i need to get a move on so i thought i'd just quickly show you my outfit i'm heading to brunch with the girls i'm meeting two friends in Altrium. i think i'm going to take barney as well because it's quite nice weather hopefully fingers crossed it's been really nice lately so it's looking a little overcast but fingers crossed it'll be nice anyway so yeah i'll take barney with me and i am just wearing i put my shoes on my trousers like um kind of like a brushed cotton jean from everlane this top which i've been wearing so much an absolute favorite that i picked up another one it's from uniqlo it's one of these um like ribbed racer tops with the built-in bra which is so comfortable and then a zara blazer which i picked up fairly recently it's like a linen in like a mushroomy kind of color and that's me good to go so because we're just doing brunch i don't think i'm going to even take a bag i think i'm just going to put my phone in my pocket barney i'll have his lead and his poo bags on his lead and then yeah don't really need anything else because we're only meeting up for a an hour or two so welcome welcome back to the channel i hope you guys enjoy today's vlog no plans other than just spend the day with me we'll see where this vlog goes i do have a couple of deliveries due to arrive today as well so i'll probably show you those later but other than that let's get on the road let's head over to altrincham and let's have a nice nice morning girls brunch maybe i never knew what i really want I can see it's all clear I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me But nothing makes sense anymore lovely little adventure into Altrium and it's hot we were sat in the sun by the end of it it was quite warm um but yeah i've popped into a couple of shops as well we we went via homebird which i've since realized they have quite a few stores so popped in for the first time and it's lovely so definitely we'll be heading back there and then let's get these windows open and then also went to sustrum just whilst i was here thought i'd pop in got a couple of bits but i'll show you those when i get home yeah, let's get on the road shall we oh i also stopped up on even though we had breakfast i just had some granola for breakfast i did get a little gales lunch to have when we get home as well i might try and sit out in the garden today the gardener's not in either so just pop some chairs outside and have an en enjoy this weather whilst we have it it's because when it gets hotter than this i just don't even sit outside in it look at this bustling as well but really good spot just right um at the edge of the markets but i'm glad we went when we did because now every single table outside is full <laughs> just bringing the recycling for me thank you good boy <laughs> come on then no leave that good fetch thank you we are back home now home seat home got the doors open because again this sunshine glorious tom actually messaged saying barbecue tonight so we might be having our first barbecue of the season let me know if you've already had one as well i thought i'll show you now that i'm back home a couple of bits firstly that i got today whilst we were in altrium and then i had well, i came home to a parcel but i've also got some more that were delivered um yesterday so we can do a little unboxing but this gorgeous little homeware shop that we went into homebird did pick up one thing although i was very tempted to pick up a several things but i didn't i didn't i did pick up this though this was 8.95 and i thought this would go really nicely in the black room you know the bookcase room with it being kind of like this dark wood games themed as you know i've got like a wooden domino set in there and some other little games and bits and bobs 
So it's essentially just a little wooden box that you can pop a pack of cards in. This one does come with, I'm guessing just like a generic uh, standard deck of cards, yeah. With some lamps as well that I have my eyes on. That I really like to think of. And then it's Sostren Grena. I spotted a couple of things. This was just when I first went in. I thought these looked yummy. I've actually had them before. I don't know if I had this flavour. Maybe I did. I can't remember if it was that long ago. But they're little kind of crackers, rosemary flavoured these ones, which I thought uh, would be lovely to just you know, like if we are having a barbecue one evening and whilst it's cooking, just have a little bowl of crisps out. It's just an alternative to a crisp. I've also got some friends coming over next weekend, which I might vlog actually, because I've got a girl coming over that's doing our colours. So like she will go through like beauty and fashion of what sort of colours suit us and our, based on our colouring. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that and if so, I will vlog it. But yeah, for now. Um, I got them, which I thought, yeah, could pop out with a bit of a lunch spread. I also got this because Tom was after a really fine grey tub, a mini one for garlic. And we've got a little handheld one that's that size. But I thought this would be just quite handy to have. So, yeah, that was about £5, I think. I also picked up these uh, tea lights, but look at the size of them. They're just clear um, containers as well. So I thought these would be really good for... You know, if you pop in something like a little votive or a glass jar or some kind of thing that is, or like an old candle holder or something, just for a bit of ambiance and atmosphere, where a normal tea light would maybe burn out too quickly or be too small for, I thought it'd be quite handy to have these. So yeah, there was no price on that one though, so I wasn't sure how much it was. Let's see. £3.74. Yeah, that's probably about what I would imagine them to be. And then £3.24. These are on checkout. And for me, this is a bit of a throwback because who else remembered travelling? We did do quite a lot of long journeys as kids in the back of the car. And I remember these sweets, like sweet tins, just being sat in like the cup holder section that you could just suck on throughout the journey. There were loads of different flavours, but I went for the sour lemon drops. So yeah, I'm going to pop these in my car and just have a bit of a nostalgic throw back and have some little sweets in the car for nice, oh, I say long journeys, short journeys as well. I always have mints in the car, so this would be nice just to have a bit of variation. I think I'm just gonna have my lunch in the sun now before I get into the little PR parcels that have arrived, because I've got this one here, but this isn't a PR parcel, this is something that I've ordered. Um, so yeah, I'll show you this one now actually. It's um, from Space NK, I put in a little order just because there are a couple of like things that I wanted to try and that I've been seeing sort of on socials and I thought I'm going to bite the bullet and purchase and have a little play around and one of them I've actually, it's a top up of something that I already use and love and it's this from Ultraviolet, it's their SPF 50 plus. I use this every single day. It's a really nice sort of uh, formula that sinks straight into your skin so it like it doesn't feel cakey or sticky on your face. So it goes really nicely under makeup. And honestly, I don't think I will ever go to another SPF because I like it that much. When it comes out, it comes out as if it's a tinted moisturizer but it's not, like Tom's used it before, it's, it's not a tinted moisturiser, but it has a slight colour to it, I'll show you. Oh, there we go, tiny little bit there. So it's got a slight kind of neutral tone to it, but obviously once you've uh, blended it out, it just goes into a sheer UV, UVF? SPF, UV, it protects from UVA as well as UVB. So it's a really nice all rounder for using every single day. Doesn't really have a scent to it. This is something I've been wanting to try for ages from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's from their, it's their Pillow Talk, so it's their Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk Peach Pop. I just think it looks like a really nice color. They've got a couple of different shades, but I thought this one, watch the lady who's doing my colors next weekend tell me that this is not my color but whatever you need to twist it on oh it's coming there we go i'm just gonna do a little bit just to see how we get on i'm enjoying this really kind of strawberry blush like lots of blusher i used to be someone that would never really wear blusher but now it's 
really calming time with her heavily blushed cheeks i just think it looks really nice so yeah i've been loving wearing lots of blush oh it blends out nice and easily wow yeah quite pigmented <laughs> litter will go a long way which is a good sign because you know it's going to last you a long while really pretty color that one. Oh, i love that yeah really nice okay happy with that Oh, good, because when you're making beauty purchases, you never know. It's different when you receive PR because you can just have fun and play around with it. But if you're buying something, I want to love it. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy. I love that. And then another purchase I've seen lots of people talk about, and I thought I'd go for the small one for now just to try it out. But even the small one's extortionate. So it's a treat purchase, this one. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Moisturizers. I can be quite particular about I don't like it when they're really sticky. So let's see how this one, the fact that it's dewy skin cream. Now, because this is a bit more spenny, I'm going to use just a tiny bit. Oh yeah, lovely. Really nice and hydrating that one. Oh, I know I'm going to love that. It doesn't really have a smell to it again. And then I did pick up a, another, like a repurchase of this Laneige lip mask. I have one in my bedside drawer that I use every single day, which I'm going to pop this one in my car i like the one that i have in my bedside drawer but it's the salted caramel one so it comes out a kind of orangey color which i just wanted a clear one so i went for the vanilla i was after the peppermint but they were out of stock of the peppermint but this one's just clear so exactly what i wanted just a, a lip mask that is super hydrating i've already got a little bit of lip balm on now but we'll break into it just so i can show you kind of goes almost to a bit of an oily balm texture and it lasts a really long time so that's why i have it beside my bed but yeah i just didn't like the color for like day to day so popping this in my car i'm just always going to have a lip balm in there and that's everything that i bought you do get some samples when you shop online though so what samples have they included Ooh, some whey products i love whey i've even got the doggy shampoo for barney this one is a for medium hair shampoo and conditioner a perfect for travel that one. Oh, they've actually included this one too the bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner number four from olaplex i don't know why you're choosing the sun you were panting a minute ago are you not a bit warm are you not a bit warm oh you are warm why do they do that? They get themselves too hot. You're sat in a double fur coat there. It's too warm. Oh, no, you're sunbathing. <laughs> okay, you stay there then. Um, that lip mask stayed on despite having lunch it's honestly really good i've just been scrolling instagram whilst on um sat on the patio came across this shop which isn't too far from me it's um based in stockport and it's like an interiors but like reclaimed stuff so i thought we could venture out and go have a quick look it's called oh, here we go, hagapanthus interiors i think that's what it's called so yeah whilst the sun's out i've been into that home bird and kind of had the taste for home shopping um and also whilst we're thinking about shopping for bits for the garden i thought we could go have a little look so let's get back in the car and go check them out they've got quite a good instagram page agapanthus interiors let's go see what they're like
lovely little shop, well worth checking out actually. And I thought, like I said to you earlier, I would show you my little PR unboxing. Just a few bits that I've been sent. And this one I've actually tried out already. It's from Tan Lux and it's the new Paris Hilton. Whoops. The new Paris Hilton tan, which I was very intrigued to try. So I tried it yesterday and I will say a couple of things in terms of my little review. Firstly, very pink, very Paris. It came with a mitt, but the mitt is in the bathroom and this is it. It's just a cinch, essentially like a, a mist. It's a really, really fine mist that as you apply it, it feels very wet on the skin. Hold on, the lighting's not very good here. Move to the next to the window, there we go. So that you can see, I, yeah, used it last night. It's a beautiful finish, lovely tan, but it, goes on really, really fine, and then you get the mitt to um, kind of blend out. My only negative, and this is the same with any tan that doesn't have a guide color, I tend to find I get more patchy if it doesn't have a guide color, and this one doesn't have a guide color. So I think if you're just really like, overthink of blending everywhere, because I do have a little sort of like, my back area here isn't quite covered how I'd like it to be. So. That is the only thing that I would know. And same with, because you don't have the guide color, same with like hands and feet, it tends to cling to it. So I would definitely either use moisturizer there, which I didn't this time. Although my hands look okay, there's a little bit patchy around my wrist area more so than I would like it to be. But my actual hands, my fingers are okay. Um, but the other thing is I would recommend washing your hands um, sort of like 30 minutes after you apply it because it just keeps on developing. So that is the only thing that I would say. Also, because it is such a fine mist, it does, it, it's quite a, it's a continuous mist as well. So I feel like you could probably run out of it quick, quicker than you would like a mousse just purely because shh, you just keep on spraying it. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I have only used it once. It still feels fairly full. So we'll see how long it lasts. It could last for ages. It could run out quite quickly. Um, and I also did it in the shower or like stand on a towel because otherwise it can go, because it's so fine, it goes quite far. Otherwise, I like it. I like the actual color. It develops quite quickly as well. So I think it says to leave on for an hour, two hours. Oh, as little as one hour a golden tan in just two hours or a deep bronze after four. And I probably had it on for about three hours. Um, and then I showered it all off. It also, when you apply it, it smells like a, like a perfume. It does not smell like fake tan at all when you apply it. But then like with any fake tan with nice smelling products in, it does then have that biscuity smell, but I've not had any transfer on any tops or anything, so. That's a good sign. My bed sheets as well. I've obviously slept in my bed. I did shower it off before bed, but nothing, it's carried on developing and nothing is on the sheets. I did scratch my arm at the um, breakfast this morning. We were sat and Barney sort of like pulled to say hello to another dog that was coming into the uh, restaurant and I just scraped my arm on the table. So that's a bit annoying. Anyway, overall, I'm a fan, definitely gonna use it again and keep with it, but just make sure I blend everywhere. But then speaking of tan, I also received this the same day. Uh, this I got both of these uh, day before yesterday, these ones. So Bondi Sands, they very kindly sent me a selection of products. Didn't know, I don't know if this is new, but um, they do skincare. So we've got a reusable self tan mist, self tanning foam in dark, which is a really nice tan. And then the self tan drops in light to medium. This does say for face and body. Sweet Dreams Night Moisturizer, and then an Eye Spy Brightening Eye Cream. And then I also came home to a pixie parcel. I was saying to you earlier about enjoying a heavier blush at the moment. This is one of their blush sticks. These are uh, kind of, well, I'll show you. It's more of a cream texture on the glow. Oh, that's a tongue twister. On the glow blush. This is in the shade Ruby. And then also that's come with it. Uh, 
tips and tricks you can use it for a healthy glow across the nose as well which is what i've been doing lately youthful blush is just on the apples of your cheek lift and define just around the contours of your eyes or you can use it on your lips as well and then this is a lip glow tinted lip balm in again that shade ruby i don't know if i would wear this color but i am going to keep it to one side and see what the lady who's doing my colors recommends but i feel like this might be a bit too it's fine as a blush because you can obviously blend out but as a lip color i'm not sure so this is how these sticks come it's kind of like a reminds me of a deodorant a little swatch on my hand just oh yeah that's really nice wow that comes off quite pigmented actually so i feel like you would not need to go too heavy-handed with that i have just popped on the other blush earlier so which is lasting quite nicely so i probably don't want to double up but i'm going to <laughs> i told you i've been liking this heavier on the blush look yeah nice creamy if you want a creamy creamier blush that feels a bit heavier than the charlotte tilbury the charlotte tilbury matte one that i used earlier it didn't feel like a cream product package from Giorgio armani beauty prisma glass oil in gloss wow again another tongue twister <laughs> glass in oil gloss <laughs> let's have a look we've got in here three of their products from this range are they all the same yeah they're all the prisma glass high shine hydrating oil infused lip gloss we've got three shades here berry beam candy halo and nude glow from the sound of those names i'm thinking the nude glow is going to be my go-to but let's try yeah yeah of those three shades that's definitely the one that i would reach for more uh again i've already got this which has lasted quite well but i'll put a little bit on top in fact this is what em was using at brunch this morning and it looked really pretty yeah, definitely not too pigmented, more of a, hold on, let me get my mirror. Oh, wow, yeah, it's quite glossy. We'll see how long that one lasts, but I am popping it on top of already having a bit of lip balm on my lips. But that's everything that I've received lately. So um yeah i will leave links to all of these items below and if ever you want to refer back and can't remember where a link was in a video if you remember something in future and you think oh what video was it that she said that and where's the link gonna be ltk i'm trying my best to just put all the links to everything i've ever mentioned over there so that you can easily shop whatever you can just go back to back to that and refer to it so yeah lovely jubbly well tom has fired up the barbecue I'm very looking forward to this i think he said that we've got um burgers chicken thighs sweet corn halloumi salad roast pepper salad i think that's what he said um did he say anything else no i think that's it which is perfect for just for the two of us that's the only thing with barbecues it's quite nice to host with the barbecue because I like a little bit of everything. Let Snoop go in. Can you smell the food? <laughs> all full up and we are enjoying the last of this sunshine this evening i say this evening it feels literally middle of the day because it's so bright still but <sighs> i was gonna say summer is on the horizon but honestly <laughs> here we go start talking about the weather this for me is enough <laughs> i'm fine with 20 degree heat and it can stop there for me but that today honestly this weather has been ideal it was a little chilly this morning when we first met up um and there was a little bit of cloud but as soon as that sun came out i was like oh, this is me done i'm gonna chill out and watch some tv tonight 
when you feel guilty being inside when the weather's this good. But I think I want to watch, uh, we want to start Kin. I've seen a lot of people talk about it and we've never, I, I haven't even seen it advertised, I don't think. So I have no idea what it's about or anything. That's what we're gonna give a go now, Kin. Let me know, have you seen it? And is it any good? Is it worth a watch? Uh, so yeah, that's that. Oh, we also watched uh, Jeremy Clarkson. We're all caught up with that. And my goodness, episode four. Although I think that they've uploaded some more episodes, actually. They seem to have only uploaded four. And oh, sobbing. I was sobbing. I was definitely crying after that fourth episode. I mean, it's a good watch. Still worth watching. But my goodness. I don't know how farmers do it. I just don't know how they do it. I said if anything is going to turn me vegetarian, it's going to be this this episode right here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, good watch. But Kin, Kin is on the list for tonight. Any other recommendations of good TV you've watched lately, let me know. But I think I'm going to close off the vlog today here because other than that, that's the rest of our evening plans. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Enjoyed spending a sunny day with me and Barney and my friends. Although I'm totally, after I left, I forgot that I didn't even vlog the food. So we went to Blanche Flower in Altrincham. Lovely little um, bakery restaurant. They've got some nice bits that you can even like take away. Coffee as well, really good coffee. And I had granola and yogurt just what I was craving and the other girls had green eggs it was called so basically poached eggs um with avocado on toast um had something else with it I think and um had smoked salmon but yeah all delicious all really good definitely recommend going there if you're in Altria it's a lovely little bakery but yeah we've eaten well today <laughs> we have eaten well but anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.